Hey guys, I'm out with Luna, our, I think she's nine months old, golden retriever. And we are out on an off-leash walk. Her heel is so amazing. It really makes a big difference if you get your dog in to training at under a year old. But her owners also said that with Zoe, they struggled so much with leash pulling. Zoe just graduated last week at the age of two that they focused on it a lot more with Luna. So that also might be a factor is they, the owners did a lot of work before she came here with her leash pulling. So her heel just feels so amazing. So I thought I would make this video and discuss the e-collar heel and how to use it. Okay guys, to get your dog into heel, you're gonna say the word heel, tap your tone and start walking. Don't wait for them. Heel, she'll fall into that nice pocket next to and behind your left leg. The only thing you need to do now is watch for her to make positional errors. So there's really only four places she can go. She can go too far left, too far back, behind your legs, or too far forward. The only thing that I like to use stim for is creeping ahead. Everything else I use tone. And that's not always just one tone. It's sometimes beep, 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 just like that. So anything that deviates from this position is getting pressure of some sort, whether it's the stem or the tone, okay? So we practice, we practice long duration walks, staying in this position. It's really a mental game as much as it is physical because she really has to concentrate and stay in this exact spot. It's so hard because we're not restraining her, right? The leash is dragging, so she really can go anywhere she wants. That's why it's e-collar heel and it's training. Why are you such a good girl? Yes, you are. So we can move, she should follow me. Nice work, nice work. So notice when she's in position, nothing's happening on the collar and she's getting praise. We got her in at under a year. She's so good, I barely have to use my collar. That's how good she is. We can sort of do some engagement moves if we want to keep her in check. If you feel like she's pushing ahead a lot, you can sort of walk fast and then abruptly slow down, right? If she were to shoot past my leg, you press and hold. Good girl. Good girl. Good. Stay. When you stop, she should sit and she should stay until you either release her or give her another command. If she wants to lay down, that's totally fine. To me, that's even more committed than a sit stay. And that is our talk on e-collar heel. Let's give her some free time. Break, yay! So the release is her getting to go do whatever she wants to do. Sniff, explore, go potty, play, all the things that she used to do while on the walk, she now can do in her free time because we now have an off-leash trained dog. We don't have to worry about running away because we have our recall. So we'll let her explore a little bit. And then when we're ready, I can use the tone to get her back to heel. Yes, that's a good girl. Go, go get it, break, go. Watch this. Back to heel. So once she hears that tone, which is the sound, it flips her brain into saying, okay, break time's over, back to work. All right, we're back on heel. She gets on place, tap my tone, she still follows me. Out of position, tone. It's not uncommon for your dog to make more mistakes here, right? Look, look how many mistakes she's making because she just had play time. So her brain needs to focus on going back to work from the playtime, okay? So watch. Now I have opportunities to correct. Good girl. A couple tones there and that got her right back on track. Good girl. Break. 